Finally today, welcome back to the most Buffalo pandemic studio of the summer of 2020. Now in 2021, it's back to being my own little office and weird as it may sound, it's kind of nice to have a little change of scenery in here. Who missed the flamingo? Okay, so for the most Buffalo story of the day today, I had what I thought was a really great idea because you know we value honesty here on Most Buffalo. I'm gonna tell you the whole story. As we may have mentioned in today's show, Buffalo experienced a Johnny Cash sunrise this morning. Ring of fire, yes viewers, I'm just waiting for everybody to catch up. Western New York was almost in the right place at the right time as we got to observe a partial solar eclipse and favorable viewing conditions, i.e. weather that was not complete trash, afforded Western New Yorkers great views and the opportunity to witness this special celestial event for themselves, provided they got up early enough to see it happen. This is where I come in. I had a great idea yesterday. So here's what I planned to do. I was going to get up, I was going to get out of bed, I was going to get my camera, and I was going to document my own experience of seeing this for myself. Here is what I actually did. I slept in. Period. And then I went online to ask you guys if you got any good pics. And because a bunch of you are spry and motivated and apparently have welding helmets ready to go, you did have a few to share, albeit with varying results. Dawn sent us two pictures. Here's her pic of the eclipse, but she also sent us this with the caption, the eclipse photo was a bust, but at least I got this while I was outside in my pajamas. Our pal Alex Baldy shared a shot from Williamsville Schools and their planetarium director, Mark Percy, says the telescope he used is fitted with a device called a sun funnel that makes it safe for solar viewing. Patrick was able to capture this rare sight Dave Cash in eclipse glasses this morning on daybreak. And finally, one of the most stunning shots came from Julie, who, full disclosure, is also my future sister-in-law. That's fun to say. Thanks, Julie. And thank you to everyone who shared their view of this very special event. So if you, like me, missed it this time around, there's always April 8th, 2024 and that time Buffalo is going to be in the path of totality for the eclipse. I should probably set an alarm right now. We have eclipsed our time here on Most Buffalo. Does that make sense? I don't know but listen we have come to the end of another show here on Most Buffalo. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be off for a few days but I will see you soon. Until then be well, stay well, keep watching.